Day in the life as a chef on a yacht. This morning, the crew wanted protein shakes. I threw in protein powder, frozen berries, and almond milk and blended it up. The crew loves having smoothies for breakfast because they can still work and eat breakfast at the same time. They don't have to sit down for a whole meal. I wanted to work ahead, so I prepped some food that I'm gonna serve tomorrow. I thinly sliced some steak and I'm gonna marinate that in an Asian marinade and I'll make a stir fry tomorrow. I love using Ziploc baggies to marinate food. I can massage the proteins without getting my hands dirty and it's an easy cleanup. I can just throw the bag away. Next, I got started on my chicken salad. I love having a touch of sweetness in my chicken salad, so I'll add some apples and dried cranberries into this one. Chicken salad can be a bit basic, so I like to spice mine up with a little bit of curry powder. I'll portion my chicken salad out into bowls, wrap it up, and I can pull it out of the fridge and serve it for lunch tomorrow. Trash can was getting full, so I took that out and replaced the bag. See you tomorrow. Bye, little chef. Day in the life as a chef on a yacht. For lunch today, I'm making beef tacos. I set up the buffet in the galley and Brian came to attack it. I radioed the rest of the crew on the walkie-talkie and then got started on creamy prep. I made some fun flavors to try out this week. Then I got started on dinner. I'm cubing up some chicken breasts that I'm gonna make butter chicken with, and I'll serve that with some broccoli and rice. After I served dinner, I cleaned up the galley and packed up some scraps to go feed to our feral cat. Why is there poop on my thing? <laughs> Thanks, friend. Luna! Luna! Finish the night on the top of the yacht watching the sunset. Bye, little chef. Okay, hat off. This all sweat? Yeah. Nice. These are really nice clippers. I feel like a true barber. Don't, don't critique me. You're gonna love it. Can I play music? Yeah. What kind of music? Whatever you feel like. Are you nervous? Just don't move. <laughs> That's all I'm gonna say. Brian, if you want your hair to look like shit, Man, we're rock and roll. Like you sing if you want to sing. What did he say? He's like, oh, you know they get paid for that. You don't. Sounds like a screw. Are you documenting too, Mark? Gosh. <laughs> I haven't done the front. Oh, can I get a mullet? <laughs> Too late, you should have called that when I asked you what do you want. All right, shorter? Do you want it shorter, yes or no? Sure. Shorter? Yeah. Do a skin fade. Yeah. All right, I'll have to redo a fade. All right, this is the part where I'm not super confident. <laughs> it looks great, but okay. We need a fin. I know we need a fin, okay. So let's see where, where the fin should go. I might need to start lower. You gonna draw it with out? With Kool-Aid? With what? Felt a pencil? <laughs> what? Permanent, Permanent marker? marker. <laughs> the fin is gonna go up really freaking high. Why? What if I just do like a bolt? Like a like Lightning McQueen. Cut chow! Don't pick it up, put the fin in there. The fin? If I do a it true fin. It doesn't have to be freaking big. You can just go whoop. The Wait, you want me to just, like go like that? Oh, like that. Okay, so here's your wow. here are your options. Here are your options. I could just start. Look, 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 look. Do a fin. Don't make it ugly. Right, just do a fin. Well, I need Where to ask you your opinion. Does it matter? Yes, because if I, because if it looks bad, it, it would be your it would be your decision. <laughs> and if it looks good, it's yours. Do it. All right. For start chopping. I need to have a plan. If I don't have a plan, it's not going to look good. All right, here I go. Here I go. Brian, I'm nervous. Don't move. Tell the doc to stop moving. Why is it so big? <laughs> Dude, it looks like you got a battle wound. <laughs> is it a triangle? No, it's not a triangle yet. I have to figure out the shape. Now I have to come back like this. Just let me do it. Well, it looks more like a triangle than anything. 
It looks kind of, it looks kind of dope, actually. Dope? Yeah, it looks dope. What's dope? Then? Let me clean it up. Let me clean it up. One second. Shark bite thin. You just put it on one side. Depends on how much he likes it. Do it whatever the hell you want to do. Well, once you get down to the skin fade, you can't really tell. You know? That's sick. Show Gina. Yeah. Wait, he, she can't see. It looks like a shark fin. <laughs> Are you serious? It's a shark fin. If you're not happy with it, you didn't pay anything for it. I think it looks great. You want it on the other side or you want a um, Mickey Mouse on the other side? You want a shark fin on the other side? It's like, it's like, you know, like a shark fin. You want to do it? Go ahead. No. Um, everyone says, hi, Captain Mark. Do you want a cookie? A wave? All right, a wave. He wants a wave. Can you hold this? I'm going to do that. No. He says no. What kind of wave do you want? Yeah, look up what you want and then um, tell me. Oh. Oh. This doesn't sound good. Everything's fine, Brian. <laughs> Just don't worry about it, Brian. Shh. Mark, I'm going to need you to keep everyone calm here. It's a wave, it's a wave, it's a wave. It doesn't really look like a wave. <laughs> I think Brian's a little pissed. Look at that shark fin. Turn your head, let's see the rectangle. Yeah, looks good. Looks like mountains, it's not bad. It looks great. Hey, if you want to do a mountain range instead. Brian? Yeah. Don't give her any more ideas, okay? Can I ride? I just threw poop on my thing. <laughs> oh my gosh. Thanks, Brian. It's off. Turn it on. You're such a 50 percenter. 